All right, guys, welcome to Squad Ops Community Meeting, March 11, 2019. Uh, we're, we'll get started with some announcements, and then we'll move to kind of Q&A. All right, for SOT, SOT is looking for trainees. If you have a strong understanding of operations, apply. Staff applications are in the README. If you're interested in becoming a SOT helper, DM a SOT staff member. Um, Specialist courses like CQC and Air Assault courses are special courses that are offered alongside the main courses. Unlike the main courses, they are run irregularly, cover a narrow scope of concepts, and have a heightened focus of fun. A little brief description of Air Assault. Air Assault course is a specialist course designed to provide students exposure to helicopters as they pertain to operations. As it is one of our one of our courses, SOC courses, it is the narrow scope of the concepts covered with a heightened focus on fun. Topics covered in SOT Airborne include securing LZs, in-flight expectations, mounting and dismounting helicopters, fast roping, and a few others. Course finishes with students raiding INS compounds with helicopters. This course is focused on infantry interactions with helicopters, not a pilot course. CQC the Close Quarters Combat Course is a specialist course designed to provide students exposure to breaching methods used to clear rooms and compounds as it pertains to our operation. Basically, you learn about the methods and then practice them in the kill houses. Mod Dev. Mod Dev is looking for people experienced with the Squad SDK and the UE4 Blueprint system. Submit a staff application to apply in the README. They also added a mod feedback form for bug reports, feature requests, and general mod feedback. You can find it pinned in the mod discussion and bug reports channel. Mission Dev. Mission Dev is still not taking ops or mission ideas, but will soon. Have a few on the mission team that are working on cleaning up the docs, sorting ops and missions, and they will release an outline for mission and op doc ideas to be submitted. Like all submissions, there's no guarantee that your idea will be turned into an operation. All right, that's all the announcements. Um, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the hashtag community meeting uh, channel. Tech Liberal Pundit, does CQC use SOT helpers also? Yes, they do. Remember, any questions, go in community meeting, text channel. Extra applied a while ago to SAW team, but got no response. You guys still need extra. I do believe SAW, the SAW team is looking for extra hands. Um, normally, it does take a little bit to get through all the applications. So if it's been a while, a couple months, you might want to resubmit an application. Uh, Heli Cole, is there an official SOT or SOT helper application form? No, just DM a SOT member. Frost, how long does it typically take to hear back after submitting a Google form for becoming a regular or staff? The, the Google form for the regulars is simply an expression of interest form. That does not mean you're not necessarily applying for it, but if you do submit your name, we will we know who to look out for it, so it helps us. And then for the staff application, um, you are directly applying for that. So once the managers get around to looking at it, they'll decide if they want to bring you on. Cyclone, what level of proficiency is mod dev looking for in the SDK and EU4 framework? Trident, can you elaborate on that? I mean, it kind of depends. Like, the more the better, obviously. But anyone's welcome to apply. 
specifically things like UE4 blueprints, if you know how to do those well, that's something that is helpful. Okay, extra. I even sent the second part with recording. Shall I reply? I mean, if you haven't applied in a couple of months, like you, you should probably reapply. But if it's been kind of recently, I'd say I'd recommend just waiting a little bit longer. I like how any plans at having more stay after the course is over moments in song. Um, I don't think Sot necessarily plans for that, but I'm sure they're more than happy to have guys stay on the server and have a little fun practice. For the people that just joined, if you have any questions, put it in the community meeting text channel. So I can't sign up for the next thought for some reason. What's okay being worked on? Just waiting for everyone to type other questions. Ellie Cole, how's the community growth been? I don't have exact numbers, but I know we just passed 12,000 members and we've been doing pretty good filling up our operations and SOC courses, so we're doing pretty good. Dorf, when is there going to be more ops added to the calendar and what is the op going to be this Wednesday? Money Man, do you know or Bag of Joey, you guys here? That's yeah, still to be discussed, but it should be going up sometime tonight. Mr. Swifty just reg registered for SOT Basic, was wondering what time zone is the 7.30 p.m. posted. Uh, that's your own time zone. Z Z German. What time zone is the next Scott Sot get? Uh, that is your your local time zone. Seth, who do we talk to if we have some ideas we would like to share concerning Sot and squad ops? Um, if you have any ideas and suggestions for Sot, you can DM us Sot. If you have general su suggestions for squad ops, I guess you could DM me. Nuclear Twister, where, who can I reach out with ideas, improvements, new operations? Right now, uh, we aren't accepting any new operations or ideas. Um, when uh, Mission Dev creates that form, um, they'll probably announce it, and then you could submit operation ideas. Sebi, has there been a consensus reached with medics able to revive in PS ops or is it still being I believe it's still being tested and kind of depends on the operation. 
Tanker Red, has there been any thoughts about a form on the website or their ops is going to stay exclusively on? Uh, we have talked about it. Um, can't give you an ETA or really a final decision, but there have been talks. Seth, will we ever be able to use Zoom Optics in Squad Ops events? Uh, we don't really allow Zoom Optics. It kind of sucks if you get sniped 400 meters away. Uh, the only time it's kind of really allowed is for the British medics with the SUSAT. Dark Milkshake, when do we plan on trying a full server in PS Ops instead of just the firefight side? Um, good question. I really don't know. It, it depends on the amount of signups and what the operation intends. Eliko, any ETA on operator kits being used in a live? I know Mission Dev is looking into trying to incorporate Medication will be, will we get, can't speak, will we getting back the squad ops PS server for offensive instead of the armored game type? I believe the server just changed to armored hero. Are you here? Maybe you can answer this question Not for a while. Okay. Actually, is there any... Any way to get notifications regarding new opera slots being posted on the website? Have to check manually and sometimes it's too late. They kind of go up at random times. I can bring it up with uh, the staff members to put announcements, but can't promise anything. Mr. Swifty, how active is this Discord with regular in-game squad forming? Would love to just find out more tactically based squads playing. Um... There's no really set time we get together and play. If there's a seating announcement, normally a couple of ops guys and um, active puppies will get on, so that's probably your best. Like, oh, what are the details on the problems with the whitelist? Is it on OWI? Honestly, not sure. I think if people are having issues loading into the server, like the event server, I think that might be an OWI issue. Cyclone said, whitelist is RN, server connection, and disconnect is OW. Bat, finished basic. I was told that you can't do specific trainings that need advanced training. Showed up to one, but I was told off that you wouldn't be paid. Yet during the event, I saw people participating with only basic. It was kind of a disappointment. Any explanation on the matter would be appreciated. Uh, what course were you trying to partake in? I know if it was the Airborne or um, CQC, you needed AWS or Advanced to participate. Yeah, I did notice this as well. It was just a mistake on SOT's end when that happened. If you got pushed away, it was our bad. We um, ended up taking some extras, especially for Airborne. Dorf, when is Squad Ops going to do an award system to reward good behavior and game plan the Discord pub matches? Uh, we can't already do this if a regular staff member sees sees anything they like in the operation. If a, someone's a good leader, for example, they'll put it in ops commendation. But we all know Dwarf won't get that. Any questions, put it in the community meeting text channel for all you guys that just.
fault we only turned people away at CQC. Everyone in the course had AWS or your bad answers, bad question. Ellie Cole, do you plan to run CQC or Airborne? Yes, but it's not going to be ran as frequently as Advanced Basic and and the PS Basic. Airborne was the SOT base SOT Airborne course named after. You wish. For those of you joining, type questions into community meeting text chat. I know a couple of you are typing. Mr. Money Man, for SOD, any other hip pocket courses coming up soon? On assault, are you here? Maybe you can answer that. Or assault, we'll type that out probably. Mr. Swifty. Is there a channel listing all the different SOT classes and what they entail? I think in SOT, hashtag SOT underscore help, if you check pin messages, I think they have descriptions of the courses, or you could check the website for descriptions. Dubs, will there be any more ops on days instead of Wednesdays and Saturdays? Uh, Sometimes we do have firefights on Friday night, but we try to keep it uh, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays to keep it consistent so everyone knows when the operations Sometimes we'll have a mod test on a Sunday. Tanker Red, has there been any thought of just getting together more and practicing? Not like initial instructions with SOP, but more freshening up and getting better at teamwork. That's a good suggestion. I'll bring it up to management. Eliko, how soon until multicam, multi announcers come back to the sh Not really sure, to be honest. I'll ask. Let me write that down. Yes, Revy, documentation is in the works for the mod. Uh, until It might take a bit of time, though. Until then, you can use the uh, change notes on the Steam Workshop. Did someone answer Helco's question? Yes. I know they're working on it, Helico. Dubs, when is the next campaign? Mr. Moneyman, you want to answer that? So it's been a while since we've run any campaign. Right now, we're just going back, uh, working on all the old campaigns, getting them up to standard. And then maybe sometime soon, when we got extended break, we might put one up. Yeah, right now, Mission Dev is working on updating all the old documents, and the campaign is huge, so might take them a while. Typically, we'll run campaigns during holiday weekends, but I can't give any dates or weekends. Um, that What is a campaign? Basically, we'll normally pick holiday weekends, and we'll have operations Friday, Saturday, Sun Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and maybe Monday, and they kind of all tie together in a big story. To clarify, those are American holiday weekends.
Jacko 800 has it been considered to just get all the Abashra ops in order to use them as I don't know, but I'm sure Money Man will take that as a suggestion. Dark Milkshake, we trained on it during the airborne testing courses, and I'm sure they did it in the last airborne training. Is there any word on what on when we might see repelling out of helos in an op? There isn't any specific operations where you're gonna be repelling. I think it's up to the pilots and the commander if they think it's necessary. And I can answer that one too partially. Um, we talked with Karma. It's basically a no until we can get them fixed. So right now they're kind of glitched. So if you put more than two people on it, they'll fall and die. So it's not really usable in operations right now. Okay, Tanker Red, is there... A way to optimize Albasha with the mod. It's the only map. A lot of people have Um, I'm not really sure to our mod guy. Helico, do commands force people to sign up once for all four days? How does it sign up? So, there'll be, like, a Friday op, two Saturday ops, and maybe one Sunday op. You have to sign up individually. Each op is, like, each uh, round of an op is a different mission. So you're not repeating missions, you will, like Friday, like Friday, the first mission, or first round will be one mission, round two will be another mission, and so on and so forth. And with campaigns, you're, you're going to most likely play on the same team both rounds. To kind of keep the story going, so whatever you do, round one might affect round two. Any more questions, leave them in community meeting for anyone who just joined. That do the same operation rules apply to campaigns like one life and so on. And if you die, do you get to continue the next campaign? So Operation rules still apply. If you die, um, you will be dead for that round, but you will be able to come back next round, and you will still be able to come back in the next session. I'm going to clarify that, Evan, because in every campaign we've done that I can think of, there has been at least one round with respawn rules, where one side has the ability to respawn at least once after dying. Oiko, how's the progress on the modding sign been? Any sneak peek? Trident, do you have any sneak peeks? Uh, can you say that again? Do you have any sneak peeks on the mod? Anything you're working on? Not at the moment. <laughs> uh, more vehicles. More vehicle variants. How about that? Dabs, will, be, will we be getting ops more focused on vehicles? I'm not sure. I'm sure Money Man's writing that down t to see. It's an idea, and yeah, we take notes. Tanker Red, has there been any ideas on how to help alleviate troubleshooting with users causing events and training? To yeah, we've been we've been working on different ways to get people into the server so the rounds don't get delayed and. All the squads can fill up on. Major issue is OWI, so that's people are having a lot of issues with the game. Bad any. Any way of making an armor campaign only with no infantry, so mechanized warfare? Um, very unlikely. I mean, Money Man won't write that down, but typically we always have infantry in operations. It'd be kind of hard on server performance as well if there's like 30 vehicles.
Dubs, how often is squad servers up? They're up all the time. Sometimes they're not popped. Normally they'll pop around afternoon, EST, late night, all these American times. Helico, possible future training on SDK for those inexperienced. Um, it's not a priority, yeah. but I would suggest if you want to learn, uh, the Squad Ups modding Discord is a good place to start. They have a lot of resources there and people to help. It looks like we have five minutes left, so if you have any last-minute questions, please type them in community meet. Tanker Red, has there been any thoughts of working with other groups in squad and doing cooperations? You mean with other clans? Um, there has been, we've had brought the idea, but it's really not a priority. Bat, are there any plans on adding nukes to the training map? Probably not. Next, uh, how did they get into the confirmed list on the next side? I understand you guys are working on it, but any chance someone can slam my name on the about to go to sleep and don't want to miss the course? Been looking for a long time. Um, I can't do that for you. You're just gonna have to sign up when it goes up. Sorry. Like how any future outreach ad campaign for community growth. Yeah, content creation has talked about making cool YouTube videos to post on YouTube. Hopefully, expand a little people interested in squad ops. Vindication, how does one become a CC extra? Uh, talk to Iron Time. I believe as of right now, CC extra is only for regulars and above. CC Extra, basically, they help content creation make videos. They'll just be actors, and they'll record. But that is only for regulars and above right now. Mr. Swifty, so I'm on the wait list for basic. Did I just sign up later? Is there something I need to do? Uh, you just got beat. Everyone signed up before you. I suggest you still show up because there's a lot of no-shows and you'll probably still get in. Like, oh, any new build options for FOB? Not that I know of. I know that Pony has added a cool naval mortar. So things like that. I think, we, I think that's gone now, actually. It is? Okay. I didn't answer Dorf's question. When is Squad Ops going to do another best clip competition? I know a lot of members here like to record POV and stream picks up a lot of good stuff. And a best clip competition is the best way to build hype for Ops. Uh, we have done it in the past. We are talking about it. So if it does happen, check the announcements channel. It'll probably be announced there. No promises. All right. We're going to wrap this up in the next couple of minutes. Last minute questions, please put them. Tanker Red, are we able to mod in pre-made fobs? Yes. 
Sabi, any plans on buffing the incredibly weak HE more Trident? There has been talks. We shall see. Dorf, what about the idea of a squad ops newsletter? Something to give everyone weekly updates on squad ops and highlight key moments and how people have performed. A that is a good idea. I don't know if there would be enough news to actually put up every week, maybe monthly. That during the day, what hours are the official ops servers populated? Uh, Hero, are you here? You know more. You know better than me. What was the question? Uh, when are ops servers normally populated? Uh, there's no specific time. It's just whenever a staff member sees it. All right. It looks like we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions, you can DM me and I'll answer as quick as possible. Thank you guys for coming. Uh, we are recording this, so this will be put up in the announcement channel maybe tomorrow. Thanks.